Hey, hey, welcome to day everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is just going to be a quick video on Alcides Escobar, the former Royals shortstop that, of course, was on the good Royals teams over there in Kansas City, agreeing to a one-year deal to stay in D.C. with the Washington Nationals. Um, Alcides Escobar is, of course, a player that was always a slick fielding shortstop, got very consistent at hitting during the height of the Royals' success, and of course also won that World Series with them out there in Kansas City when they were able to capture the World Series out there. So he's been a very good player throughout his career, and actually in his career, um, he's a two fifty nine hitter with 245 doubles, 56 triples, 45 homers, 470 RBI, so he could easily get to that 500 RBI number this year being it seems like going into the season he would be favored other than young kids if they steal the job from as a guy to probably start at the beginning of the season somewhere in that infield and then he also has 248 walks 177 stolen bases and 60 or 658 excuse me runs scored in 15 12 major leagues games that's 1512 major league games played so he's been a very solid very productive player the big impressive thing with him is he had a very good year this year, which was honestly surprising, not because of his, he hasn't had pitch assessment, he hasn't been a good player, and he's not one of those guys that you ever question his work, work ethic or any of that. It's more just because he hasn't been in the league. He's been away from the major league since 2018. Part of that obviously had to do with the COVID season last year. Maybe he could have found a team there, but he found one this year, and he was able to really get going with the Washington Nationals in 75 games. He honestly reestablished himself hit above for granted it was only 75 games but still hit above his league averages or his career averages at 288 he had 21 doubles two triples four homers 28 rbis and 17 walks and also 52 runs scored in 75 games so this guy earned a contract at his age 34 season it looked like unfortunately for him a couple years ago that his career was ending earlier than I think he probably would have hoped. And now we know that it was definitely earlier than he would have hoped as he's worked his way and scratched and clawed to get back. And now he gets rewarded with it with a one-year contract after producing the numbers that we just highlighted. And I think that's great to see. This is just a quick video I made because I always like highlighting when the now kind of turned into underdog or little guy players get props from teams and actually get rewarded for their success. This guy's been out of the league for a couple of years. He gets rewarded for his success. Someone I'm going to look to probably get rewarded for that success down the line is going to be Darren Ruff, who came back over from overseas and then dominated for the Giants this year and really was a surprise similarly to Escobar. So I feel like he will get rewarded soon as well, but Alcides Escobar does get rewarded for his wonderful season in 75 games this year. Congratulations to him, and good job by the Washington Nationals organization to step up and reward that veteran player for what he did. This has just been a short video on Alcides Escobar's contract. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day. And as always, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or at the great widget up top. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe and enjoy the MLB playoffs. Peace.